Hey, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good, Randy. Thank you. And um, uh, you guys know I love success stories. And um, Randy is in Georgia. I'm in Colorado. And Randy, just show everybody your check, man, your payday there. Randy just got a nice check there. And, um, uh, you know, he did it through hard work and networking with another one of my students. Um, and uh, Randy, tell everybody how you, uh, you found a deal and how you put it all together. Well, I found I, I sent out seven hundred and fifty dollars worth of yellow letters some time back, <laughs> and uh, got got a uh, call from this woman, and she wanted thirty thousand dollars for the house. Okay. And I said, okay. This was and not said, this was not in Southern California, was it? Oh no no, this was <laughs> Georgia, and it's junk. I mean, the house was not livable; it was falling down. Um, but that's what she wanted, and I knew it wouldn't sell for that, but like Claude says, you can always fix it later. Mm -hmm. So I got the contract with her, and I put her on the market and got nothing. Uh, nobody was interested, and I talked to her about it, and uh, she decided, well, she could drop the price to 15 Wow. So, so she dropped the price in half. And I put it back out, and there was still no no action. She did get a church wanted to buy it, but it's in a, a fairly quiet neighborhood. And, and churches her, like that. Her mother in law lived two houses down. Her mother in law lived across the street. It's a family neighborhood. Okay. And they, they didn't want the, the uh, traffic that a church would generate. Okay. Um, so she came back to me and said, "Well, you know, the church the, the church doesn't. We can't. I'm not canceling to the church." And uh, I said, okay, I was, if nobody else wants it at that price. Can you drop the price anymore? She said, well, I'll go to 12. And so I said, okay, I'll take 12. And wrote a new contract, got it at 12. And then talked, uh, I, I put it on eBay, or not eBay, but I put it on Craigslist. Okay. Uh, 20000 cash, 30000 for owner finance. And got, got it hooked up with Steve where I had the, the funds available to do the owner finance possibly. And uh, had a had a ton of calls. I, I did something I thought was pretty smart. I put it in English, and I, I copied the entire text right below it in Spanish. What a good idea! Google Translate. Yeah. Okay. Well, how smart? Yeah. You know, we never talk about that. That's that's a really ingenious idea. And I got a lot of calls from from the Spanish community. Hola, cómo está? See, sí, see. Sí. Donde está la cuarta de baño? Una cerveza, por favor. No, ya. Donde hay un besito? I just said the two uh, things that are very important in any language. Where's the bathroom? And can I have a beer, please? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, that uh, might have been. Uh, and may, maybe the order should be. Uh, it should be a different order, actually. Yeah, yeah. Donde es la cerveza? Yes. And uh, pásame, pásame la, la cerveza, or pásame. La leche or con carne. Okay. I took, I, I took Spanish in seventh grade, but it's been a long time. Okay. Well, you can really share, see how it's working for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, tell the anyway. folks. So you you were a little creative. You networked with somebody. You renegotiated the deal. You did your marketing, and yeah. you just got uh, you just got a payday. You just got a nice check by the sweat of your own brow and creativity. Good for you, man. Round of, Claude Diamond, round of applause to Randy George here. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, can you do it all over again? Yes. We, got, we already got more letters going out. I've been driving the area, uh, checking vacant addresses, seeing vacant properties and so forth. And uh, we'll have more letters out this week to the uh, vacant properties. And hopefully we'll hear something from them. And now you're I've even... I've got a backlog of people that I had written previously that were not... Uh, ready at that time to okay. do a deal. So you're giving good so, phone now. I'm giving better phone. I'm not giving good phone. Okay. If I was to get the good phone, I'd be making a lot more money. And I see a little phone number behind you there. Is that the number everybody should call? 706-389-8398? Call that number. I answer my own phone. I love that. Thank you so much, Randy George. Great deal. Love success stories. Thanks, Claude. I will talk with you in a short end two weeks. Maybe even show. Maybe even sooner. Maybe soon. No, Friday. I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow. Right. Take care. How you doing tomorrow?